Hello, friends of Komodo Platform. Hello, friends of Pirate Chain and Bitcoin and crypto price charts and technical analysis. I'm Giuliano. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Yes, this is 25th of December, and I have some price charts to share with you. We, in fact, uh, some interesting movements on the, uh, the Komodo Platform KMD price. So anyway, but first let's just have a quick peek over at the Bitcoin price chart because, well, what I wanted to do was just layer in some of the indicators we did not look at yesterday as we carved out these <clears throat> trend lines to you know, basically watch the, uh, the movement of the price and relate it to uh, some trends. Okay, so we've got our, our higher lows here, these three higher lows. We're working with these lower highs, <clears throat> confluencing with this, this low here. So <clears throat> let's add in uh, Ichimoku Cloud. We have bounced off of this area and are going towards the uh, downtrending resistance above. And uh, bringing that Ichimoku Cloud, and you can see immediately we've got some overhead resistance there uh, working in line with this type of trend. So we see some, some potential resistance above ahead. If we take the 200 period average, we see that we're below that. So some squeezing action likely coming. Let's find out the 20 period moving average, 20. This is a daily price chart. So 20 day moving average, we got the Bollinger Band coming and boom, we're above the 20 day moving average as well. So that's good below support. That's probably what it's looking for to find. Uh, also here though, we, we moved up to the top of the Bollinger Band. Let's uh, zoom right in and have a closer look. So as we do that, <clears throat> what have we got here? Yep, we reached the top of the Bollinger Band, found that resistance. And so it looks like uh, probably gonna come back down, retest these levels here. Um, either that or, <laughs> either that or it's, it really is ready to break out in these next number of days. But yeah, even then I do see some form of, of retesting and then possibly going. Uh, the other option is uh, retesting and then falling down, maybe retesting and having it even weaker. We'll see. This is good because we are able to see candle after candle where things might lead. So that's good. Bias is still to the upside with maybe an intermediate down before up. Now, do we breach this area? That's going to be an interesting question. And that comes around uh, the end of the year. This here is the the 31st of December, 1st of January, uh, wormhole. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, what's going on? I do think bias to the upside uh, here. However, this is important here because we have this Ichimoku cloud. So getting over that is uh, quite an important feat. And we have the 20 day, the 200 day below that. So that keeps support levels. And yeah, we're also working on this Bollinger Band. So if it can if it can squeeze to the upside, then that's probably another impulse move, uh, because we you know currently this move here has not needed to stretch out the Bollinger Band, has not needed to push the top of the band impulsively. It just went from the lower end of the band to the top of the band. So let's see some cons consolidation. And this, for me, when I say bias to the upside, I, I do see this space, this region here, as being. Uh, a region where the price will play uh, potentially uh, towards the towards the, the this for this whole week, you know, and then maybe move up at the beginning of January. And so we'll see. Um, stay with it. Pay attention. Now, if we look on the four hour, what has happened? Well, the price is uh, reached above the Ichimoku cloud here and now is settling here. So and it can even come down further down to this like high. 49,000 levels, uh, the high 40s, right? Uh, 49,000 levels and still find some support. Uh, and this is at the end of December. So don't be surprised if the price starts coming down towards these levels, finds this Ichimoku cloud support. It relates back with these prices back here. And, um, and then from there, it can go higher. I, I think that's fair. Uh, also considering it's getting squeezed by a 200 period average, 20 period average, We're, we'll see something's gonna happen. Uh, soon enough. And so stick around and we'll watch. Uh, again, bias looks like to the upside, but um, maybe just for one more pop and then some come down. 
So on the daily, maybe that still looks like uh, pop it up and then come down. Uh, yeah, we'll see, although it is already here. So yeah, maybe you get a pop and it keeps coming down, but then that, that's a bit weak. I'd rather it just comes down first, then goes for its pop. Okay, so that's the one idea with that. Let's move on. I know you're all here for the KMD price chart. So let's take a look at this. All right, so on a weekly time frame, it's looking pretty good. We've got a green candle there, but we've got a big wick on it. Still, uh, this is not complete. Um, however, we'll see on the daily chart that, oh wait, sorry. Let's see on the weekly chart okay, uh, that we are pushing up against that channel. So let's see what ends up happening. But on a daily, uh, we've had quite a number of green in a row, four greens in a row. And today on this fourth one, a lot of wick, a lot of wick, but it is pushing above this 20 period average. We had this horizontal level mapped out couple of days ago and we have you know this one candle next next candle right after it was green as well so we had a big wick next candle we had a nice body but it was still rejected by this this line here we'll see on the four hour chart and then uh, then we got above it and now we're above 20 period average on the the daily the daily price chart in fact you know we even we, the question was are we going to come and test this this top of this bollinger band near the Sichimoku cloud this downtrend resistance and basically we did are we going to come back with a bit more bodied green i think so but maybe not yet it looks like four green in a row uh, will deserve a few sideways action so don't expect it to happen uh today and i think the most important thing is can it stay above this 20 day moving average can it stay above this side this uh, horizontal region here you know it's it's more so this level so it's not even it hasn't even gotten uh really out of it yet so that's the basic idea but it's looking good hey we went and tested this top of this bollinger band that keeps saying that so, something is is coming it looks like it feels like it but anyway it also is saying that the ta is being respected i see we get a nice w over here go back up um but yeah totally come down well we're already down here so who knows what it needs to look like um but that's good that's good on the daily if we look at some of these indicators, we get mm, a potential moving into the green area. So, you know, bias could be still to the upside. I don't know. Maybe you need a red before we keep going green. I'm not sure. I don't see many four in a row greens followed by a fifth, you know. So, at least not recently. If we go back to that bull time here, one, two, three, four, five, maybe here. Um, yeah, definitely when there was more of a of a, a big move up, we had five in a row. Um, so anyway, whether we get one more green or whether it starts going red right away for the next day, I think a little bit of a slowdown is expected, based, especially based on this wick over here. It would be nicer to close higher though, and then you could come down on the subsequent days, but we'll see. So if we take a look at the four hour time chart, um, it makes sense, you don't know, get rejected by the 200 period average on a closing basis, but it, it tried to get above it. So anyway, we did go where we thought we might go. Hey, for, for a bit, I, um, I thought maybe this would be the extent of the move, but actually we ended up closing up there too. Uh, not just, not just intra candle uh, movement. So, uh, but when we, yeah, like when we look at it with the line chart here, you could see strong rejection. So, I get the sense maybe maybe sideways or hmm, let's take a look here we start we're trying to add things up right and uh, this looks like okay we went slightly overbought do we have enough to keep going back up or does it need to clear out first it's it's not you know not as financial advice right so you got to make your own thoughts together uh, on this four hour it looks like we could go with a bit of negative momentum here um Having said that, maybe again with matching with the RSI, maybe it gets a bit more of that positive up movement. But uh, overall, it looks like we got a um, we got a move up. Let's see, does it turn into something? Um, uh, 
does it turn into something like that? We'll see. Uh, so far, all we have is something like that. Okay, and it basically gave us a, a nice move up. Okay, 1650 levels were, were, were reached. So yeah, anyway, nice W move, let's hold. Uh, the main thing here now at this point, main thing is uh, maintain some sort of higher lows wherever they go, okay? That's, uh, that's what you want, then you got your bottom there. Awesome, so that's a four hour price chart. Daily looks like, yeah, maybe it's gonna slow and then go. So I think that is the bias still for KMD is bias to the to the upside, but we get burned often times here. You know, it goes up and then it's like boom. Let me go down and retrace more than a hundred percent of your up move. Ha 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 ha. So anyway, we'll see what happens. But yeah, uh, the, the the sense I'm getting is um, that there is room here on the daily for some positive momentum and uh, and something more. And if that's the case, uh, looking to this uh, 1900 to 2000 level to be the next target. So yeah, where is it? Let's say we're going around there. Yeah, 2000, makes sense. So <clears throat> when, not sure, um, but that's the next level to look for in terms of that'll tell us if it's strong. If we can't hold these these 1550 level, then then you're in weakness, okay? Currently we're at the high 1500s. Let's see how it closes the day and the week. Anyway, this can be, you know what, as much as it is uh, giving nothing from one year ago, um, at the same time, um, it's looking good overall and looking like there's potential for the next move up. And for that, when we're looking on a bigger scale, we're looking for a move towards the 4,000 or 4,500 level here. Oops. Okay, we're looking for, for this level here as the next move, all right, on a bigger scale. So yeah, looks good. And let's just confluence that here on the weekly price chart. And that matches with something we might expect. Okay. Um, before we can do that, though, obviously it needs to break these levels of like 2800, which has been a, a key level many times here. So, yeah. But anyway, all right, that's your KMD price chart. Bottom line is uh, we have this resistance ahead. We're in the cloud still. Let's see how long we can hold the cloud. The 20 period average and the um, this horizontal line we've drawn are, are roughly gonna confluence and coincide. coincide. Um, so that's the expectation. Then, then from there though, we want it to hold and keep going higher. If it doesn't, uh, then it's gonna go lower, go back below this cloud and have more, a different route to try and get back up to these 1600 levels, um, which is possible. You know, it might make this move, retrace it all the way down to here and then go, that's possible. The other option is we're not done yet. And then we're going to go maybe the retrace now though lasts here and then go whatever. Let's watch. Okay. We get better ideas. It's, but here's the thing based on what we have in our indicators here. Um, it's got to go. It's got to go. All right. Speaking of got to go, I'm also going to go from this chart towards the the fire chain price chart. Oh, I just want to, yeah, I just want to just share with you the fire chain price just quickly here because look on the four hour level here. Um, just want to show you something. So we did come down towards this Ichimoku cloud and um, found it as support and it, it, it went well with the Bollinger Band, Bollinger Band narrowing. Now we're at the top of the band, at the top of the cloud above the 20 period average, I think there's a good chance for the next move to be to the upside. And we're just starting to build some momentum here. It has to come. Otherwise, unfortunately, we're gonna probably break down and break below the cloud. So that's kind of the idea on the four hour time frame. Um, we're gonna see if, if the move up here to this uh, 3,500 level is coming or not very soon. Looking on the daily price chart, it's like, all right, we are, holding above this 20 period average, that's good. So I just gotta watch that and there's room to go. 
uh, to the 3,500 level and to, to get ahead of this, um, this downtrending resistance. Otherwise, maybe uh, 3,000 or 2,900 is the limit before it comes back down. That would be weaker. Okay. That's it for the pirate chain price chart. Not much to say other than um, it's looking good. Same thing, KMD looking good. Pirate chain probably has a bit, a bit more of um, a bit more of a chance to. Uh, well, actually, I can't even compare them at this point. But the lagging indicators are not really giving any serious signal. But I think we're going biases to the upside for sure. Still, uh, yeah. All right. There's your fire chain price chart. I hope you're doing well and I'm leaving you off there. We'll come back later and uh, have another chat. Until next time though, I'm just wishing you love, peace, happiness. Goodbye. <laughs>